Hello everyone. Welcome to my other video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Django with React. So let's get started. So at first, you have to open your terminal and create one directory for your project. So write mkdi space react underscore Django and then write cd space react underscore Django to open to that directory. Then just create one virtual environment so write Python 3 dash m vnb space vnb and if you don't have virtual environment in your system just install it now write source space vnb slash bean slash activate to activate virtual environment into your project okay now write pip3 space install space django space Django REST framework space Django dash cause dash headers. So here I'm just installing three modules that is Django, Django REST framework, and Django cause headers. And it will take some time to install. So now after completion, write clear to clear your terminal and finally write Django dash admin then uh, space start project space your project name in my case i'm giving my project name as django underscore react underscore project so uh, if you enter ls you can see that the django project has been created now enter into that project writing cd space your project name finally write code space dot to open ps code into this project so if you enter inside django underscore react underscore project you can find one list that is installed apps so here you need to add two new application or two new new modules that is rest underscore framework and core setters and also you have to uh, add these two middlewares so actually i will upload this source code in my description section and finally you have to allow course origin true so write course underscore origin underscore allow underscore all equals to true. Now uh, go back to your terminal and write python space manage dot py start app and give the app name as students and press enter. And again you have to declare students app uh, inside install apps. Uh, list okay now go inside uh, model.py uh, inside the folder students so at first you have to make a class or you can say model uh, write class student model dot model and here I will declare two fields one is uh, name field and other one is email field so the max length will be 200 and the other one is email field okay now finally just return the name here yeah. okay so write return self.name and then back to your terminal and here you need to write python3 space manage.py space make migrations so it will apply all the actually it will create all the migrations of your models.py file and then finally you have to write python 3 space manage.py space migrate and it will apply the all migrations to your database now i have to create one file inside students folder that is serializers.py so inside it at first just import the rest framework so write from rest frameworks uh, import serializers then write from models import student okay now write class student serializer and write serializers dot model serializer and inside it you have to declare another class that is meta so write class meta inside it uh, declare the model the model is student and you have to declare also the fields 
so the fields is uh, for th uh, the first field is uh, primary key it is pk and the second is name and the third one is email now go inside urls.py file and import re underscore path and inside the url patterns write re underscore path and pass the actual path so for my case i'm giving the path as api slash students so whenever uh, from front end or react the api slash students url will be hit uh, it will result some data okay so and also you have to declare the views so i'm writing views dot students underscore list so inside my views i have to declare that so go inside views dot pi so here is my views dot pi so at first i have to import those list framework libraries so write these things and also you have to import all the models and the CLIs. you need to also uh, import api underscore view here also you need to import the status and also the response so actually here i am going to create one method that is students underscore list that i have already uh, defined inside urls.py and okay so write def students underscore list and take the response uh, take the request from here and write data equals to student dot objects dot all and then write serializer equals to student serializer and pass data and context okay and finally repo, uh, return response so write return response and the r will be capital here inside it just write serializer dot data okay so for now uh, it's done so go back to your terminal and finally run your server just write python 3 manage.py space run server okay so now it is giving one error that is view is not declared so just inside this file just declare the view okay now save it and again uh, again it is uh, giving one error that is no module names as models so here i have to give dot okay now finally you can see that uh, my server is running at port 80 80 and just uh, i'm just showing you inside my postman sending the data so write uh, the server url and also the write the endpoint actually and hit on send so you can see that uh, one empty array is there because i don't have data in my data as you can see so first i will uh, insert some data okay now again i'm just sending or hitting the endpoint and you can see the data is there and i'm just inserting uh, much more data so you can see all are there now coming to the react part just open another tab inside your terminal write here npx space create dash react dash app and give your app name so i'm giving my app name as django dash react so after completion uh, you have to enter into that project so write cd space django dash react and write code space dot to open vs code into this folder so if you go inside package.json file you can see list of dependencies are here so here i need to install one dependency like uh, named axios so write npm space install space axios to install axios 
uh, in your react project finally go inside app.js file and delete all these things and i'm just converting the functional component into classful component and uh, i have to write component did mount and inside it i'm going to apply the axios call so at first i have to import axios so write import axios from axios and inside the component did mount method write axios dot get and inside it pass the endpoint remember from the postman just paste it here and then uh, as it returns a promise you have to write dot then and it will populate into result so res then arrow function so i'm just uh, logging the data so write console.log and write res.data so save it and open terminal and write npm space start to start react server so go you know, inside your browser and write and open your local server into 3000 port and here you can see inside the console all the data is here so you can use this uh, for your purpose so thanks for watching please click on the like and subscribe button if you like this video thank you